Warning Signs of Colon Cancer Colon cancer is one of the most common types of cancer in people of all genders. And it's the third leading cause of cancer-related deaths in the United States. Everyone is born with a colon, which is a big part of your digestive system along with your rectum. When the cells that line your colon start to grow abnormally and out of control, that's when colon cancer happens. Most of the time, colorectal cancers start as small growths called polyps. These polyps usually grow slowly and don't cause any problems unless they become large or turn into cancer. This is good because it means doctors can find and remove these polyps before they can become cancerous. Sometimes, colon cancer doesn't show any symptoms. So it's important to tell your doctor if you notice any signs that could mean colon cancer. 6 Warning Signs of Colon Cancer 1. A Change in Bowel Habits If you notice that your bowel movements have changed, like having diarrhea, or constipation that lasts for a long time, or if your stool looks different than usual, it could be a sign of colon cancer. Research published in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute suggests that changes in bowel habits are among the earliest signs of colon cancer. 2. Bloody stool. Blood in your stool or bleeding from your rectum can be a sign of colon cancer. It's important to tell your doctor if you see blood when you go to the bathroom. According to a study in the American Journal of Gastroenterology, rectal bleeding is a significant symptom of colorectal cancer. 3. Unexplained anemia. Anemia is when your blood doesn't have enough red blood cells to carry oxygen to your body. Colon cancer can cause bleeding that leads to anemia, even if you're not sure why you're feeling weak or tired. Research in the European Journal of Gastroenterology and Hepatology highlights the link between colon cancer and unexplained anemia. 4. Abdominal, pelvic pain or bloating. If you have ongoing pain or discomfort in your belly or feel bloated all the time, it could be a sign of colon cancer, especially if it doesn't go away. Studies in the World Journal of Gastroenterology emphasize the importance of investigating persistent abdominal symptoms. 5. Unexpected weight loss. Losing weight without trying, especially if you're not eating less or exercising more, might be a sign that something's wrong, like colon cancer. According to a study in the Journal of Clinical Oncology, Unexplained weight loss can be an early warning sign of colon cancer. 6. Vomiting. Though it's less common, if you're vomiting and it doesn't stop or it happens a lot, especially along with other symptoms, it's important to let your doctor know. Research in the Annals of Oncology suggests that persistent vomiting can occur in advanced stages of colon cancer. How are patients screened for colon cancer? Screening means checking for a disease even if you don't have any symptoms. Doctors use different tests to screen for colon cancer. Colonoscopy. This test looks inside your colon using a special tool with a tiny camera. It's one of the best ways to find and remove polyps before they turn into cancer. Research published in the New England Journal of Medicine confirms that colonoscopy is highly effective for colon cancer screening. Fecal Occult Blood Test. FOBT, or Fecal Immunochemical Test, FIT. These tests check your stool for tiny amounts of blood, which can be a sign of colon cancer. They're simple and can be done at home. A study in JAMA Internal Medicine supports the use of FOBT and FIT for detecting blood in the stool. Virtual Colonoscopy. Instead of a tube going inside you, this test uses special X-rays to take pictures of your colon. That virtual colonoscopy is a promising alternative to traditional colonoscopy. Flexible sigmoidoscopy. Similar to a colonoscopy but looks at only the lower part of your colon. It's often combined with a FOBT to catch more cancers early. According to a study in JAMA, flexible sigmoidoscopy can significantly reduce the incidence of colorectal cancer. Who is at risk for colon cancer? Some people have a higher chance of getting colon cancer. Age. As you get older, your risk goes up. Most cases of colon cancer are found in people over 50 years old. Research in cancer epidemiology, biomarkers and prevention confirms the age-related increase in colon cancer risk. Family history. If someone in your family has had colon cancer or polyps, your risk is higher too. 
A meta-analysis in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute highlights the strong association between family history and colon cancer risk. Personal history of colorectal cancer or polyps. If you've had colon cancer or polyps before, you're more likely to get it again. Research in gut emphasizes the increased risk of colorectal neoplasia in individuals with a personal history of these conditions. Inflammatory bowel diseases. Conditions like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis can raise your risk. Research in gastroenterology suggests that patients with inflammatory bowel diseases have a higher risk of colorectal cancer. Lifestyle factors. Eating too much red or processed meat, not enough fiber, being overweight, smoking, or drinking too much alcohol can make it more likely for you to get colon cancer. Studies in cancer research and gut highlight the impact of lifestyle factors on colon cancer risk. Is colon cancer treatable? Yes, colon cancer can be treated, especially if it's found early. Treatment might include surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or special drugs. It depends on how far the cancer has spread and your overall health. Finding it early through screening tests gives you the best chance of beating it. If you're worried about your risk or have symptoms, talk to your doctor. They can help you figure out the best steps to take care of yourself.